So if we're looking at this, and what we want to do is implicitly derive this. Rather than solving for y, which in this case we could do that, but if we go ahead and differentiate with respect to x on both sides, Okay. What we're going to have in this case is we can now take the derivative of d over dx of x squared plus d over dx of y squared equals d over dx of 4. Right? Well, we can know how to take the derivative of d over dx of x squared. That's just 2x. That's not bad. But remember, what we talked about, what we've kind of already learned here, is when we're taking the derivative of another variable with respect to x, we just take the derivative. But then we have to use the chain rule. So it's 2y, and then d over dx of y, which is the inside function here, is dy dx. And that's going to equal 0. Now, their whole goal is just like we're solving for y, I asked you guys to find y prime. And why do we use y prime? Because y prime is faster. It's easier. But technically, y, or, but technically, y prime is really not as great as using dy dx, because that's really what the derivative is the derivative of y with respect to x. y prime doesn't really state that. It's just kind of a quick way of writing the derivative out. So what we want to do is we want to solve for this. So to save myself a little bit of time, I'm going to subtract the 2x and then divide by y. So therefore, I'd get a negative 2x over 2y, which is negative x over y. Now you guys will look at this and say, this isn't the same. Or I'm sorry, well, that's, this is the derivative, right? Now, remember, we can always plug back in what y is or what y is equal to. And since we solved it over there, dy over dx is equal to x over, now again, we have a plus or minus, plus or minus what y is equal to, which is 4 minus x squared raised to the 1 half. Right? I just plug back in. If I solve for y, right? we already solved this over there. Yes, I mean, solve for y. Just plug y back in. I just put the plus or minus in front. So just a real quick, if we want to 